Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation. Parallel computing. Parallel computing is more than one processing element. Second, nodes connected to a communication network. Last, nodes working together to solve a single problem. Processor organization of parallel architecture is divided by four. First, single instruction single data stream SISD. Second, single instruction multiple data stream SIMD that has two types. First, vector processor and array processor. For the third point of processor organization of parallel architecture is multiple instruction single data stream MISD. Fourth, multiple instruction multiple data also divide by two. First, Share memory and distributed memory. For share memory, is divided by two. First, symmetric matrix processor (SMP). For second, non-uniform memory access (NUMA). But for distributed memory, only have a cluster. Single instruction, single data stream (SISD). It is a machine execute a single instruction on individual data value using processor. Based on traditional von Neumann, uniprocessor architecture instruction are executed sequentially or serially one step after the next. Until more recently, most computers are SISD type. Processing unit PU will receive instruction pool and data pool. Figure 1 will ensure the structure of an SISD, Mary Sunset of Control Unit CU, that provide an instruction stream. I ask a processing unit view the processing unit operates on a single data stream that asks for the memory unit MU. Single instruction multiple data or SIMD, is a class of parallel computers in Fink's taxonomy. It describes computers with multiple processing elements that perform the same operation or multiple data points simultaneously. This is the structure of SIMD. A single control unit fits a single instruction stream to multiple PUs. Each PU may have its own dedicated memory or the memories are shared. A vector processor instruction operates on multiple data elements in consecutive time step. A vector is one dimensional array of numbers. Many scientific commercial programs use vectors. A vector processor is one whose instruction operate on vectors rather than scalar. The basic requirements for vector processors are it needs to load or store vectors. It also needs to operate on vectors of different length. Elements of a vector might be stored apart from each other in memory. A vector instruction performs an operation on each element in consecutive cycles. Vector functional units are pipeline. Each pipeline stage operates on different data. Vector instruction allow deeper pipelines. No intra-vector dependencies. No hardware interlocking within a vector. No control flow within a vector. No strike allows prefetching of vectors into cache memory. The advantages of vector processors are no dependencies within a vector. Each instruction generates a lot of work. Highly regular memory access pattern. No need to explicitly code loops. The downside of vector processor is it works if parallelism is regular. Vector operation is very inefficient if parallelism is irregular. Limitation of vector processor. Memory bandwidth can easily become a bottleneck, especially if compute memory operation balance is not maintained. Data is not mapped appropriately to memory bank. Array processor is an alternative to supercomputer. An array processor's instruction operates on multiple data elements at the same time. It performs computations on large data array. There are two types of array processor which both manipulate vectors but their internal organization is different. The first array processor is attached array processor. 
An auxiliary processor is attached to a general purpose processor to improve the performance of the host computer in specific numerical computation tasks. Second array processor is SIMD array processor. The computer with multiple processing units operate in parallel. This is the difference between array processor and vector processor. MISD, a sequence of data, is transmitted to a set of processors, each of which execute a different instruction sequence. It is also follows the concept of pipelining. Single data stream is made to pass through the pipeline. Next, MISD is a sequence of data transmitted to a set of processors. Each processor executes different instruction sequence, never been implemented. So, this is a structure of MISD. MIMD is a set of processors simultaneously execute different instruction sequences of different data sets. Next, MIMD also works with systems having many CPUs. Multiple instructions are carried out at one time. So, here is parallel organizations, MIMD shared memory. Shared memory is a tightly coupled divide by two. First, non-uniform memory access NUMA. And second, symmetric multiprocessor SMP. Symmetric multiprocessor SMP is computing architecture in which two or more processors are attached to a single memory and operating system OS instance. Symmetric multiprocessor can be defined as a standalone computer system with some characteristic. Symmetric multiprocessor has four explanations. First, there are two or more similar processors of comparable capability. Second, these processors share same main memory and input-output facilities and interconnected by a bus. Third, all processors share access to input-output devices. Fourth, all processors can perform the same function. These are four advantages of symmetric multiprocessor. First, performance. Second, availability. Third, increment growth. Fourth, scaling. For performance, the system with multiple processors will yield greater performance than one with single processor of same type. For availability, in symmetric multiprocessor, because all processors can perform the same function, the failure of a single processor does not help machine instead. System can continue to function at reduced performance. For incremental growth, user can enhance the performance of a system by adding an additional processor. For scaling, Vendors can offer a range of products with different price and performance characteristics based on number of processors. Non-uniform memory access, NUMA, is specific boot philosophy that helps configure multiple processing units in a given computing system. Uniform memory access. First, all processors have access to all parts of main memory. Second, access time to all regions of memory the same. Third, access time by all processors the same. For all processors have access to all memory using load and store. Fifth, access time depends on region of memory being accessed. Six, different processors access different regions of memory at different speed. No more pros and cons. Effective performance at higher level of parallelism than symmetric multiprocessor. Not transparently like symmetric multiprocessor. Availability. 
Distributed memory. Distributed memory refers to a multiprocessor computer system in which each processor has its own private memory. Computational tasks can only operate on local data and if remote data is required, the computational task must communicate with one or more remote processors. Advantages. The first one is system are clear. The bandwidth problem that haunts shared memory system is avoided because the bandwidth fills up automatically with the numbers of processors. Next is give more performance than single system. Disadvantages. The first one is the communication between processors is much slower than in SMMRMD systems, and so the synchronization overhead in case of communicating tasks is generally orders of magnitude higher than in shared memory machines. Next, the access to data that are not in the local memory belonging to a particular processor have to be obtained from non-local memory or memories. Cluster, which is alternative to SMP, high performance, high availability, several applications, a group of interconnected whole computers, Working together as unified resource, illusion of being one machine, each computer called a node. Cluster also have benefit, which is absolute scalability, incremental scalability, high availability, superior price or performance. Cluster configuration, which is passive standby, active secondary, separate servers, servers connected to disk, Servers share disk. This is the diagram of standby server with no shared disk. Cluster versus SMP. Both use multiple processors for high demand application. SMP is easier to manage. SMP takes less physical space and less power. SMP establish and stable technology. Clusters are better for incremental and absolute scalability. Clusters are better for availability.